Hello everyone, today we consider the Eacortex version 4.2 and new feature of alarms modernization. In the previous version a different algorithms for generating alarms for each type of events confused users. One event from analytics was informational, another was alarming and it was impossible to turn them off. Now in the version 4.2 the interface has been updated. All alarms are reduced to one type of generation and now they are displayed differently and must be created only manually. Let's check how it must be done. Go to the section of automation, select the required camera, let it be the sabotage detector. Go to the section of tasks by event and we may see here the specific event for video surveillance sabotage. Initially there is no any action we have to select alarm generation. Click in the alarm settings. We may see that now it's possible to add nearby cameras. Let's add a couple of them. You can quickly understand what happened, which cameras are nearby and what to do when a certain alarm occurs. It's just the view from the cameras for quick access selected in these settings it will be simply open. It doesn't matter whether there are alarms or not in the real movement time or from the archive. Also below you may see the existing group of system users who will receive these alarms. And there is a checkbox for adding the new groups to the list. Activate it. If you exclude a group from the list of checkboxes, this group will not receive any alarms. Alarm will not be sent to this group even if they set the camera to security in the client. Just remember about it. Timer during which the user must accept the alarm, mark it as false or ignore it. Let's reduce it a bit. If you need to make an obligatory comment for the operator, you must write it here. It would be indicated uh, for the specific user group that should do the required action. It must be obligatory for the required uh, alarms, like accepted for the false alarms or for ignored alarms. That would be the manual for the operator. The next step is related to the cell settings. It is about the frame color when the specific alarm would be presented we may obtain the specific color for the required camera. Color of the text also could be provided here. If it is required we may somehow write the exact description. Let it be the word alarm will be provided in this form. Also some webhooks are provided here as before. Let it be the description of event and event type. System will put these parameters directly to our text. We apply our changes and let's look it in the client. Firstly, we need to activate the guard mode on the required camera. After receiving the event of sabotage, system will inform us. As you may see on the screen. We may accept the alarm. We may mark alarm as false in this small tab with the exclamation mark here. If we mark alarm as false, and if you got the required comment for that, we have to leave specific comment for here if it would be obligatory. Mark this alarm as false. You may also see the required period of time. Reactions. And also we saw the cameras that were nearby. Let's check it again. Each alarm 
has its own buttons. We may go to the archive for this event, for the required alarm, or we may check the nearby cameras. Check the situation that was near. Clicking the button of close, we'll get back to our view. Info for the alarm would be presented in the specific card. We may also leave here some comment, accept it or mark it as false. Checking that in the section of events, filter events. by the actions of the user, let's deactivate all of them, we may obtain all the list of our alarms, apply the filter, now you may see the accepted alarm, false alarm with the specified comment, double click, we may go to the archive and obtain the stream from there. Basically, that's all about the configuring of this feature. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.